A scene very similar to this has been playing out across Colorado the past few weeks as some 2,000 acres of forest land have burned. But this video is from 2012, the big High Park fire up in Larimer County. As we now wonder what will become of the recently burned out areas, I talked with an expert about the resilience of nature. So we're looking at the west side of the High Park fire off in the distance. Boyd Labita of the Colorado State Forest Service had a front row seat to the inferno as he helped marshal resources during that High Park fire. Is it tough to, to watch? Well, in a sense it is, but in a sense also uh, it's the natural process of these forests. And at the time, the results were stark. This forest we're standing in, all the trees were killed right here. But you won't see this longtime forester feeling sorry in the aftermath. For the person who was killed and the 259 homes lost, absolutely. But not for the forest consumed in the burn scar that stretched up to 20 miles. The forest is a fire adapted ecosystem. It, it has burned before, uh, it's going to recover. Aspen trees are the big winner after a wildfire. When the mature ones burn out, it stimulates the root system to sprout new aspen. Wildflowers and shrubs, once choked out by the tree shade, are thriving in the sun. We know uh, what the density of our forest was before the fire. The acreage we walked is managed by CSU foresters. The lodgepole and ponderosa pines coming up are a combination of plantings and natural regrowth. This young tree provides a positive sign. This year's growth is already probably four times what last year's was. So that means the tree's getting established. It's got a root system going. That means there's been enough moisture. But our new warmer, drier weather patterns likely mean the next forest will be noticeably different than the last. Six years ago this summer, this hillside was on fire. And afterwards, because that terrain is so steep, it was impossible for crews to get up there and physically plant seedlings. Well, we know it'll take years for the pine and fir trees to regrow. But in the meantime, the wild grasses and shrubs have really taken off. We all know wildfires will always be part of Colorado. And those burned lands will always be reborn. The High Park burn area was hit with major flooding in back-to-back -back summers right after the fire. The hope is the areas that have burned this summer in Colorado get more gradual moisture in the months to come.